Europe. Yes, feminism. Girl power. Yes. You know, I want to make it clear that as a feminist, this doesn't mean I hate men. None of us hate men. Well, we hate dickhead men, you know, those ones, yeah. But, you know, generally, men have it tough. It's, it's not a popular opinion. We girls know, and we gay, and gay men know, that the toilets are a magical place. You go with it broken, humbled. You come out empowered. You know, men, they're even policed on how they go to the toilet. Right, straight in, straight ahead. More than two shakes, it's a wine. Get out! <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, um, the last time I went out clubbing before this all happened, um, I was with my friend. We were on the guest list. I know, yeah, my life is struggle. And um, you know, this guy kind of like started went, ah, you've got a key for the women's toilets. It's like, yeah, we know what the men's toilets are like. Well, my friend said that. I just looked him in the eye and said, with that thinking, yeah, but we have multiple orgasms though. <laughs> and there was a moment of silence, and he said, actually, that's a pretty good point. <laughs> Yeah, it, but it's true. You walk past the men's toilets, up. Like, oh God, the stench from the bog. Literally toxic masculinity. <laughs> and they have the worst choice when it comes to aftershaves and, you know, scents and nice smelling things. And, you know, when it comes to jumpers and, like, T-shirts, all the colours that you've got available are just variants of school uniform. <laughs> I, I really feel for you guys. It's 